wrong. The member for Kennedy has the call. Question to the Minister for Workplace Relations. Is the minister aware that the greatest jobs growth in Australian history was in WA and Queensland in the Bajoka Peterson Charles Court years? In both states, all fly ins, even intrastate, were banned. Does this not make an absolute mockery of the Liberals' claim that 457 visas are necessary? In light of the government body Australia Post employing hundreds of 457s for postal delivery, could he assure the House that these 457s will be terminated and Australians employed? And in light of nearly 300,000 people registered for full-time employment in WA and Queensland, would he not condemn the expired. Liberals for bringing in each year 30? The member's time has expired. The member's time has expired. The member's time expired several minutes ago. The Minister for Employment and Workplace Relations has the call. Oh, I thank the uh, member for Kennedy for his. The minister will resume his seat. The manager of opposition business on a point of order. Well, uh, Madam Speaker, it's a, it's a question and a point of clarification about the time limits to, to you. Yeah. Clearly, there are time limits. Uh, the member for Kennedy uh, ran out of time and then went on the for at least the same amount of time, but the minister, how can he answer the question the when he didn't actually hear the question, the but he seems to have a fully written answer? So how the can the manager of opposition question? business will resume his seat. This is not a point of order. It is debate. If he had such an issue, he could raise it with me after question time. The member for Kennedy will resume his seat. The minister has the call. No, the member for Kennedy will resume his seat. When the member the member for Kennedy will resume his seat. When I indicated the member's time had expired, I hope you all noticed his microphone was turned off. The minister has the call. The minister has the call. If the member for Kennedy wishes to stay to hear an answer, he better observe the standing orders. Here, here. The minister. I thank the member for Kennedy for his question, and I uh, have a sense of what he was asking because he. Because he's interested in what happens to Australian workers. And that makes him pretty lonely on that side of the House. Order! I know that he makes the opposition uncomfortable, but he does at least. The member for Kennedy. The member for Kennedy is now skating on thin ice. The member for the Kennedy. Member for, the member for Kennedy is seeking a point of order, and it better be a point of order or he won't get to hear his answer. The member for Kennedy has the call. I'm seeking a point of order because the Liberal leader accused me of having provided the them member with a for question Kennedy beforehand. And in actual his fact, seat. The, the, member, the member for Kennedy will resume his seat. I am not in the mood to ask the sergeant to escort you, but I'm getting there. And he might have some other friends joining him on the way, the member for Patterson. I understand, I understand the member for Kennedy's concern about the interjection from the manager of opposition business. I take that seriously. But the standing orders require the minister to be heard in silence. The minister has the call. Uh, the member for Kennedy has raised issues to do with workplace relations. That would make him the lone ranger on that side of the House when it comes to talking about the conditions of workers, so thank you. But he was asking me about uh, 457 visas, and there's three points I'd like to make. First of all, this government believes that where there are jobs in Australia that can be filled by Australians, we should do that. We also believe in providing the best training opportunities for Australians. That is why we have spent Kuyong. that is why we have spent a record amount in training Australians to take advantage of the jobs in Australia. He specifically asked about Australia Post. I can uh, reassure any anxiety he may be feeling that I understand that in the mail delivery area of Australia Post there are no 457 visas. I understand that when it comes to administrative functions in the government in their enterprise, there are a total of three 457 visas. I understand that in their um, their business called Star Trek, Star Trek, they have um, Order! 
<laughs> no, Star, Star Trek's what you guys have for industrial relations. They employ a total of one person on four, five, seven visas. So the answer to the member for Kennedy's question is none in mail delivery, three I understand in administration, and one in Star Trek. But what I can also tell him is that the Migration Council has said that 7 per cent of 457 workers have reported that they're being ripped off compared to their Australian counterparts. This is a shonk and should be tackled as we are. What and I can also conclude and tell the member for Kennedy, who's expressing his views about the 457 visas, is we are clear where we stand, just as we are in terms of workplace relations generally. What I can report to him, though, is that the Leader of the Opposition said on the 27th of April 2012 into the IPA, Alex Hawke's favourite book of reference, that he said that um, about 457s, the Leader of the Opposition said, under a coalition government, 457s won't just be a component, they'll be the mainstay of our immigration policy. The member for Kennedy will leave the chamber under 94A. The member for New England has been giving him bad ideas. The member for Bath